Hello, I'm Rob Phillips, and welcome to my channel, where I teach you how to live a more balanced and present life through yoga and meditation. Today we're going to be doing a practice that's all about the moment of connection, that moment where we decide to tune in, that moment where we decide to pay attention to what's going on right here in this moment. It's a simple practice, but for me this really is the essence of all of the work of mindfulness and meditation. It's this process of each individual moment, each time we choose to come back and connect. So I'm really excited to share this practice with you here today. In terms of props, we'll use my usual stuff. You can have a blanket and a couple of blocks if you would like. And we're going to begin in a comfortable seat, so find your way there whenever you're ready. So as you're ready to get started here, just find your way into a comfortable seat. Grab whatever props you would like to support yourself here. Hands on the thighs or maybe hands on the lap. Close your eyes. And so as we start here, as I begin, every single practice is, in fact, this moment of awareness that we're going to be exploring so much today. Simply making the decision to notice where you're at right now. We can feel this experience in the body. We can feel this experience through our breath. Any time we choose to pay attention, any time we choose to tune in, is this moment, is the sense of connection. And the important thing to appreciate here is this is not a one-time action. This is something that we'll do again and again throughout any practice. And really, ideally, throughout our whole lives, it's a lifetime journey. So as you settle in here, can you notice what it's like to come back? Can you notice this sense of connection? And maybe even on a more subtle level, notice the sense of relief that comes as we just let ourselves be. Notice the sense of letting go that comes as we let ourselves just connect in this present moment. And we'll be with that here for just a few more breaths. Short opening meditation. We can take a gentle inhale breath through our nose. A gentle exhale breath out our mouth. Lower down your chin, slowly open your eyes. From here we'll stay in our seat and let's start to extend our legs nice and long here. Um, I think most folks would benefit from sitting maybe on a blanket or some sort of prop, so don't neglect that here. That can be good for um, kind of giving yourself the lift that you need. So from here, what we're going to do is open our left leg any amount out to the side, so you're kind of horizontally moving in space. Take your right foot somewhere onto the inside line of the leg, and you may need a block, you may need some sort of support here as you do this. With this left leg nice and relaxed, we're going to forward fold, but instead of folding like towards the left leg, we're going to fold more into the space in front of us. It's kind of like an indirect approach. So with that set up here, when you're ready, I'll take an inhale breath for some length. Take an exhale breath to come forwards to find your edge. Remembering, as it is for any forward folding shape, there's no specific rush to get close to the earth. Shouldn't be using willpower or significant sense of effort to try and make that happen. Come just to that first level where you start to feel sensation and just begin to relax, just begin to settle into that. And 
And remember as well, if the sensation ever does flare up, if it ever does become sharp or strong, back away from that. Don't try and rest through it. Our number one priority in any physical practice is maintaining safety in the body, of course. Can we find a moment of awareness here? Can you feel that sense of connection right here and right now? When we do this sort of practice in a physical setting like this, I would encourage you to let the body be kind of your home base. We can feel the sensations of the pose. It's always very easy to connect with. But really, we're opening up to everything. We're letting ourselves just be here, in this moment. So can you feel that connection? Can you be here for this experience? Let's take just one more breath in this particular pose. Slowly you can start to inhale and roll up. And just take a moment if you need to relax like the neck and the shoulders. Relax that straight leg for a few seconds. And what's nice here is we can kind of do usually a fairly seamless transition to the second side. So take your right leg open wide, take your left foot inside. Of course, respect your knees if you need props or anything like that. You're not going to look exactly like me, so don't try and force yourself to. Let that right leg relax however it naturally does. And again, we're going to fold not over to the leg, but actually into the space more like in front of us here. So start to dial that in. When you're ready, you'll inhale for some length. You'll exhale to release forwards. Again, no rush, no urgency to get deeper. You can even use props under the hands if you have them and you'd like to use that for extra support. Can you come just to that edge of sensation? And as you relax the body into the pose, invite the awareness to notice this experience. It's normal for our attention to drift. It's normal for many thoughts or other imaginings to show up. The practice isn't about trying to stop that. Instead, the practice is all about the intention to keep coming back. As many times as it takes. Can you feel that connection in this moment? in this moment. Notice that subtle sense of release, that subtle sense of ease that comes as we simply just let ourselves be here. For now, let's take one more complete breath like we are. We'll use a slow inhale breath to roll up and we can relax the legs, shoulders. We can extend our other leg, let that relax too, kind of shake it out. From here, we're going to shift and find our way forwards onto our belly. So start to make your way there. 
you can rest flat on the floor. You can support yourself with a little cushion, blanket or something if you'd like, but take a pause here. Find a nice neutral shape. And as we take just a few breaths here, feel how the body's resetting. Feel any subtle waves of energy kind of flowing through here. Feel the simplicity of just being here in this moment. Let's take a deep inhale breath through the nose and a long exhale breath out our mouth. On our belly, we're going to rise up onto our elbows. We're going to set up into Sphinx pose. And in general here, my suggested variation for you to take, um, if you have a block, grab that. And for everyone, allow the shoulders to relax. Allow the chest to settle towards the earth. And if you'd like, what we can do is place the forehead on a block here. That should allow the neck to relax, allow you to be even more settled here. But appreciate that for some students, this is just like not going to feel great. So if you find that's your experience, like everything I offer here, don't force your way into a pose that's not working well. You can skip the block. You can do a slightly different variation. That's fine. Follow along in whatever way seems reasonable for you. But wherever you are with this, once you've found your alignment, let the body relax. Let yourself settle into the pose. And can you truly feel this moment of connection? Can you truly experience the simplicity of just being exactly as you are? Each time you come back, you're strengthening that connection. Each time you come back, it should feel a little bit easier, a little bit more natural. That is the power of mindfulness. It's a skill that will really develop, it will really blossom the more you work with it, the more you experiment with it. Let's take just one more complete breath right here. And we can slowly remove any props if you did use that and slowly lower again all the way down onto the belly. And take some deep breaths here. Really invite the energy to move and flow. Invite things to circulate, to rebalance, however you might like. Take some nice deep breaths here as you work with that. Deep inhale breath through your nose. 
a long exhale breath out your mouth. Using your hands here, you can gently press the hips back, find child's pose. Allow for your spine to round, to release. Even pressing into your hands can feel nice here, kind of emphasizing that decompressing quality. And then from here, we'll slowly start to find our way back up. We can come into seated position again. We're going to do a few more poses here. So um, again, you might want to grab a blanket to elevate the hips. I find that can benefit really most practitioners. Um, as we set up the next pose, it will depend a bit on the flexibility of your hips and the sensitivity of your knees. So really be honest about what version you do here. The gentler option, we can all start with this, would be to take our left shin in front of the right, Coming to a knee cross leg, and depending on your body, you might even need a little bit of propage for this. That's, of course, totally fine. For those who are able to, if you want to go deeper, we can come into a shoelace pose. So we stack the knees. It's obviously much stronger on the hips. So if you try this and it's too intense, doesn't feel like a place you want to be for a while, again, do that first version. If this feels reasonable, I'm going to grab blocks here um, just to support myself. So if this feels reasonable, you can slowly inhale to lift. Exhale, invite the spine to come forwards here, any amount. Finding an edge on the outside edge of the hip. If you're doing the more simple cross-legged, you'll likely need to go deeper before you feel it. And if you're doing the full cross like I am, you might feel the pose very quickly. So we're all going to look pretty different here, and that's okay. It's, of course, part of this work. But again, this deeper intention that we're exploring. Can you let yourself just be here? Can you find that sense of awareness in this moment? When inevitably the attention wanders, can we again come back and find some awareness in this moment? The coming back again and again is the practice. It is the work that we're doing here. Let's take a final complete breath right here. You can very slowly begin to inhale and roll up and legs are crossed or however the legs are crossed. Let them extend, let them relax, release. Take a short pause here, appreciate this transition and again invite the attention to connect, invite this chance to notice. We'll be here for just a few breaths. Setting up for a second side, of course, as you're ready here. You can do either the more gentle version, which is more of a cross leg with your right leg in front, or if it's reasonably available for your body, that deeper cross leg with the right leg stacked more on top. Um, you might want blocks, you might want some props in front of you to support yourself, so find those here if you need them. And whenever you're ready, you'll take an inhale breath for some length, an exhale breath to find your way forwards. Again, this is all about listening to your body. We're all going to look fairly different here. 
whether you're moving really far forwards, whether, whether you're moving just a little bit, let the sensation tell you where it makes sense to end. And let the attention, let the awareness take in that experience. Can you experience just this moment? Can we keep returning? Can we keep coming back? Let's take just one more breath right here like we are. We slowly begin to inhale and roll up. Take your time and release the legs. Let them extend. Let them relax. Shake them out even if you'd like. And then from here, let's find our way all the way into our back. So on your back, lying down, spreading out, take up some space for a little pause here. I want to take a few breaths and allow the body to integrate, allow the body to take in the effects of what you just did. And deeper into our practice, does it feel more natural to be present? Does it feel little bit easier to maintain that sense of connection here. From here, we're going to tie this all together with a pair of twists, almost like the twisting version of the last seated pose we just did. So to walk our feet in, and of course, if the twist uh, with the legs crossed didn't work for you, keep your legs parallel. But if you can, cross your left leg on top. And I find usually on our back, people are a little bit easier to do this. So give this a shot if this feels reasonable. From here, you'll take a gentle inhale breath. Exhale to roll the legs across to the right. And place your left arm out on the floor here, just kind of releasing, just ringing out. Feel as the body settles, feel a sense of connection just in this moment. Final complete breath right here. Slowly wind the legs in and let them release. 
Take a little pause here, just a few moments, just a few breaths, letting this all drop in, letting this all settle in. Then as we think about our second half, again, legs are parallel, or maybe right leg is on top. Take a gentle inhale here in the middle, and then slowly exhale, roll the legs over to the left with the right arm on the floor. Again, fine tune, adapt the alignment to suit your body. Make sure this feels reasonable. Just a nice ringing out, just a nice kind of rebalancing of things. Close the eyes and allow yourself to unwind. Allow yourself to drop in here. Take a final complete breath here like you are. As you slowly inhale, wind the legs into the middle. Release that cross. Take a final shift. You can move back and forth here however you might like. And then start to set up for your final neutral pose, your final Shavasana. You can extend the legs out long, open a little bit wide here, separating the feet, and ultimately here, just making sure that you feel comfortable that you can really drop in for your final few minutes. Close the eyes and just scan the body. Let yourself relax completely from head to toe. Letting go using our breath, take a deep inhale breath through your nose. And open up your mouth here as you exhale to let absolutely everything go for your final few minutes. And so from here on your back, just as we did so many times throughout practice, once again, 
Find that moment of connection. Just notice where you're at right here and right now. You can begin to deepen your breath. Begin to feel as the energy moves, little by little here, waking things up. When you're ready, gently roll your way onto your side. Slowly press your way up into a comfortable seat and close your eyes. Just once again, feel this moment of connection. Feel this moment of presence. And join the hands in front of the heart. As with every practice, my deep thanks to you for sharing your work here today. It's truly an honor to teach. And as we say, the light within me salutes the light within you. Namaste. So once again, thank you so very much for joining. If you have any thoughts, questions, observations, really anything at all, do let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this each and every week. Finally, if you want to go deeper with me on the work of yoga, meditation, philosophy, follow the link down below and subscribe to my weekly newsletter.